much. I laid down all my stuff. Uh, what am I gonna do, guys? This is for picture taking. Hey cat cakes, welcome back to my channel, yay! For today's video, I will be doing everything to get ready for Coachella, yay! This is going to be my first time going to Coachella and I am so, so excited. My sisters will also be coming along so we will be vlogging our entire journey for you guys. But today I have to pack and do everything that I need to do before the trip. So let's get started! First things first, I need to get some outfits. So Erica's gonna come over in a bit and we're gonna go shopping. And then later I have an appointment for my haircut. I'm thinking of just getting a trim and I just want like a straight haircut. I'll post a picture of my inspo. I'm getting really sick of layers and messy ends. So that's what I'm gonna do today. The weather is so nice, oh my gosh. We're late because of Evelyn again. I don't know why she's so cranky today. You're just so annoying. Brighten up. The moment I step into your apartment, I'm in like a shit mood. Okay. You're just so stupid. What? That doesn't make any sense. Positive vibes only. She's just annoyed because she ordered a bunch of clothes and they're not coming until Thursday night and we're leaving on Thursday night, so. That sounds like a her problem, not me. I'm not mad about that, bro. These top of jeans would look so cool. Whoa, this and is like, like so cool to touch. And then like these, the skirt with like my boots. Yeah, that would be cute. Heads are thumbs up or down? Down. <laughs> Some outfits, actually just one outfit. Yay. Technically I caught two outfits. The nest. Hey, the guys, the weather is so nice. I wish I could stay out more, but I literally have my hair cut in 30 minutes, so. Oh my God, I can't. Why is there so many things to buy? It's like, I'm literally in a bandeau and I'm not even cold, this is amazing. Like what, this is summer weather. I'm in a leather jacket and I'm hot, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> guys, summer's back in New York City. I'm so happy. Guys, I'm going up to get my hair cut. I'm kind of nervous because I haven't gotten a haircut in so long. I hope it turns out well. Hey guys, I'm back from the salon. My hair is so short now. I don't know if you can tell, but Burr looks the same. <laughs> In the back of one. What do you mean? <laughs> like, boy, what do you mean a lot different, bro? My hair was like this long, like down here. This is my nails. I got this pink, soft pink nails. But I'm so mad because I asked for a regular manicure and she was like, oh, if you get regular manicure, it takes really long to dry. And also, since you have gel on your fingers right now, I'm gonna have to remove it, which is additional $10. And you should probably do the quick dry manicure, so that's another additional $10. So regular manicure is $42. And I'm like, oh, okay, how much is the gel? And she was like, it's 52. And I'm like, I'll just get the gel manicure then because just the regular manicure, apparently she says it only lasts two days. So I ended up getting gel. Trying not to do anything on my nails though after this because it's so weak and I hate having weak, brittle nails. So after this, I'm gonna take everything off and go natural. Okay, so for the trip this weekend, I'm planning to bring just this carry-on and this tote bag. So I literally have to fit everything in this one bag. Look at Chai, look at how cute she is. Mwah. You're so cute. Look at you. Oh my goodness, I can't. You're like a little big baby. You're like a little big baby. 
Okay, now for the clothes. I have a bunch of clothes thrown on this bed right here. Speaking of clothes, I just want to thank ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Yay! ThreadUp is an online consignment and thrift store where you can buy and sell high quality secondhand clothes. I love shopping at ThreadUp because every time I wear something used, I save enough water to feed 194 plant babies. It's very eco-friendly and it's just nice recycling clothes. This knit that I'm wearing is literally from ThreadUp and quality here is amazing. This shirt I got from Intermix is super cute. The original price for this was $68 and I bought this for $18. So I say it's such a seal. So for the trip to Coachella, I'm actually bringing a few clothes that I got from ThreadUp. The first one I'm bringing is this skirt. It's so cute. It fits me so well. It fits me like a glove. This skirt is from Reset, originally $35, and I got it for $9. Such a steal. The next thing I'm bringing is this really cute skirt. I'm actually like obsessed with this. These days I've been into skirts and dresses, if you guys couldn't tell, because the weather's getting so warm, guys. I'm so excited to wear all the dresses and skirts in the world. And then the next one, I'm actually gonna be wearing this for one of the days in Coachella. Literally so adorable. It's like a halter shirt. It has this little fabric here that I'm really obsessed with. The next one I'm also gonna be bringing on this trip is this what yellow little crop top, and it has patterns of flowers on it. I'll be bringing all of those to my Coachella trip. If you guys are looking to buy new outfits for this upcoming spring and summer, I suggest you guys to run to ThreadUp right now because you guys can use my code Evelyn for 40% off your first order with my link down in my description below. Yay! Thanks ThreadUp for sponsoring this portion of this video, and I'll show you guys the rest of the clothes I'll be packing for Coachella. So I have all the clothes that I'm bringing from thread up and on top of that i'll be bringing this cute little beige skirt might be wearing this for one of the days baggy pants low-waisted baggy pants this is from free people i love how baggy it is and i think i'm gonna be wearing a cute top with this for one of the other days i got this really really cute top from isabel moran it's this cute halter top and it looks like that and i have like this little string that like ties it right here. It's super, super cute. And then I'm bringing this white flowy skirt. I actually got this at a street market in Korea, so I don't know where this is from. I'm sorry, guys. See-through white shirt. Then I'm going to be bringing this bralette, this halter top, this white belt that I also got from Free People. Super, super cute. I'll be showing the full outfit in my Coachella vlog later, but it's so cute. I can't wait. White dress that I got from Love Shock Fancy. Super cute. It's like lace, green dress, throw-on dress from Acne Studios. It's super cute. I love it so much. And then I'm bringing two bathing suits. This, these are both from Black Bow Swimming. Just in case if I ever need to swim there. Probably not, but... And this is pretty much it for all the clothes. I'm gonna start putting all the clothes into my luggage and see how much space I have and just go from there. Okay, and for PJs, I'm gonna be bringing these long PJs. I got this from Korea. The reason why I'm bringing long sleeves is because when I'm sleeping in other places, like hotels, I don't trust the bedding, so I like to cover my whole body with my own clothes so I feel less icky. Okay, I surprisingly have more space than I thought. For my other accessories, I'll be bringing this little bag. Oh, look at her, she's sitting on me. <laughs> Chai, it's okay, I'll be back in three days, okay? Oh, I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna be bringing this bag for Coachella. It's a very sporty bag and it has this little latch on it. And then I have all my underwear and socks in this Ziploc bag, so when it gets dirty, I'll just place them in here. And then I got nipple covers and a strapless bra because I have a lot of backless and strapless tops, so that's unnecessary. Chai, you're taking out my shirt and my clothes. Excuse you. Don't worry, I'm not leaving tonight. And then last but not least, I got this eye jewel. I've never worn these before, so... Okay, and for shoes, I'm a little bit worried because I'm planning on bringing these black boots. These are black cowboy boots from... I forgot the brand, but... It's a very big platformed boot, so I'm really hoping that these are comfortable because I think I'm going to be wearing this for all three days and maybe like a sneaker. 
These boots literally take up half my luggage. It's insane, look at that. Okay, now it's time to pack my toiletries. So I need to make sure they're not exceeding the maximum weight I can bring on the plane because I'm only bringing a carry-on. These two makeup bags are the ones I bring when I travel. It's super durable and also waterproof, so if anything spills, it just stays inside the bag. I really want to go basic on the toiletries because as you can tell, I literally have no space in my luggage right now. Okay, for my makeup remover, I'm bringing this balm. I'll be bringing this moisturizer, bringing this tiny toner. Sunscreen is a must. I'm gonna bring this mini-sized Moroccan oil, hair oil. Chapstick, eye drops deodorant, cotton pads, and q-tips. Tretinoin cream that I use on a daily. I'm gonna bring my new skin device. Okay, I just realized my cleanser is 12 fluid ounces and the maximum is 3.4, so I'm gonna have to run to Target to buy the travel size little bottles. BRB. Okay, I'm back with the travel sized bottles. I got this mini toothpaste. I think it's just so cute. Mini toothpaste, this is so cute. I'm not gonna fill the entire bottle because I probably don't even need this much for three days, so. Oh my God, no, I'm spilling. This bag will be my skincare stuff. One last thing, I'm gonna bring this, this, it's a disposable razor, so if I ever need to shave my body, I'll just use this and then throw it away. And then next I have my pouch for my makeup. I'm gonna bring three of my brushes, my beauty sponge, Tom Ford shade and illuminator, blush from NARS, another blush and lip tint, Chanel foundation, primer, eyeshadow palette, glow stick, perfecting powder, hair tie, a hair clip, hair, another hair clip thing, and then my everyday makeup pouch that has like almost everything inside. And these three pouches are going to be my toiletries, yay! Okay, this is how my trunk looks like right now. Definitely gonna have to put some of the makeup bags into my tote bag. I laid down all my stuff that I'm gonna be putting into my tote bag. Yay! Okay, time to pack my tote bag now. I really was hoping to keep my tote bag light, but I don't think it's gonna be possible since I have a lot of things. This is my large tote bag. It's super, super big, so I can fit like a lot. My most important thing that goes in my tote bag is my laptop. My laptop case I got from Korea. It's like literally the cutest thing ever. And my freaking huge 16 inch MacBook. I really wish I got a smaller one, but I'm stuck with this big one. So every time I go traveling, I have to carry this big thing around and it's so annoying. At least I have a big bag for it. Next, my jewelry box. I have all my jewelries in here and I like to carry a box with it so it doesn't get smushed and ruined. My AirPods. I'm gonna actually stick this into this little pouch so I can grab it easily and I don't lose it amongst all the items that are in my bag. And then I am bringing like five million gajillion cameras because I like taking pictures and I need a vlog for you guys. So first one I'm bringing is my film camera. This is the Olympus Stylus 120. This is the camera I use for all my film pictures. It's literally so nice. Comes out like that. This is a cute film. And I'm also bringing a disposable camera because I just have one on hand and I just want to get rid of it. I want to use it up. Then I'm bringing this digital Canon camera. I'm gonna use this to take pictures. Oh, and this one is the Canon G7X. This is actually the first camera I ever owned in my life. And this is what I used for my first video on my YouTube channel. Brings back a lot of memories and now I'm using it to take pictures. Then I'm bringing my handy dandy vlogging camera, Sony ZV-1. I use this every time I'm going somewhere on like a vacation and I don't wanna bring this huge camera 
this one that I'm using to film right now. And I have this little tripod thing that is also from Sony. And then next, I'm bringing my GoPro just in case. I probably might not use this, but I'm gonna bring it just in case. And then last but not least, the final camera that I will be bringing, Ryko Rico camera. This is the Rico GR camera. This is for picture taking. The quality is insane, guys. It's a little bit pricey, but it's my favorite camera so I love it this is probably what I'm gonna be using most of for most of my pictures to be honest all right that's all the cameras and then now the important stuff I'm gonna bring my card holder with all my cards in it and then my passport and of course I need a passport holder because I don't want my passport to get effed up so this cute little passport holder that matches my bag it's so cute and put it in my bag. Next, I have all of my vitamins, Advil, propolis, vitamin C, throat cold tea bag, just in case I get sick. My immune system gets so weak when I'm traveling and I literally get sick all the time. So I always, always, always bring a bag of vitamins and medicine just in case I die. Then next, I'm bringing this compact cushion foundation just in case I look in the mirror and I look musty. I can just pop it out and dab it all over my face. Next, I'm bringing this sunglass from Gentle Monster. I actually got this gifted and I never wore it. And then last but not least, all my chargers in a little see-through Ziploc bag. Looks like hell in here and I honestly don't even want to open it. I'm only going to open it when I need to charge something. But this goes all in here. As you can tell, I like to put a lot of things in mini bags like this so that it doesn't get lost. And especially if you have a really big tote bag, everything can get jumbled up really easily. This is already super heavy, guys. I have so much stuff right now. Oh my gosh. Uh, what am I gonna do, guys? Uh. <gasps> I just forgot. I totally forgot to pack my hair accessory stuff. I need to bring my hairbrush, a straightener, and a mini straightener. And this will be everything that I need for this weekend. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm finally done packing everything. Oh, honestly, packing is the worst thing ever. I hate it. I'm gonna pack my toothbrush last minute in my tote bag when I leave for tomorrow. But other than that, I think I got everything, guys. If I am missing something, then I guess I'll find out when I'm editing this video. Thank you guys for packing with me. I will see you guys at Coachella. Bye!